The decision isn't yours. Neither is it yours. That is the point, isn't it? Pathfinder, you're late. Save the cluster, straight back to work. I get it. It must seem like that, but this wouldn't be possible without you. As outposts become colonies, the cluster needs its own voice. A true council. And while I maintain that it is premature, we must nominate an interim ambassador to represent concerns outside the Nexus. Or rather, you must nominate someone. Interim ambassador? To what and for who? To the Nexus. The eventual goal was always a galactic council, but Meridian has... accelerated concerns. An Ark has landed. The vaults may make outposts self-sufficient, and we can't claim to represent a sovereign Angara. An interim ambassador would represent concerns outside the Nexus, until elections when we can all step aside. At the appropriate time. If this person is supposed to represent people, shouldn't the people have a say? That is precisely why we need your backing. We can't impose a vote on the Angar. Or even Kadara. Eladin? <laughs> Won't happen. But you've acted for everyone. If you endorse a name, some may disagree, but they will trust it as a starting point. Someone to speak for Helios. I put forward Pathfinder Reka. I'd suggest you, but someone might think you killed the Archon to elevate yourself. We can't allow the appearance of that. But Reka keeps the position and timeline in the Nexus family. The Angara need to help define the process. It's their right. Plus the Moshe would help solidify relations. We're already partnered, thanks to your efforts against the Rokar. All the more reason to focus on our own issues. It feels like the original intent was to give that voice to the outposts. August Bradley's a proven leader. On a considerably smaller scale. Hard to fail with so much military support on EOS. Meridian doesn't mean done. Ket are still out there. A Pathfinder is the obvious choice for stability. For us. But hardly the empowering one. Same old bullshit. This representative should be one of the people actually doing the work. First outpost, first ambassador. Bradley's my choice. Safe enough. Nothing disruptive from Meridian's opening day. Something by the book for once. Scott is feeling better? Good. This decision, the policy and protocol, that's not what your victory was about. There's more to life than this. Ready for it. Hey, Ryder. How's Scott? Much better. There might be two Riders around soon. Imagine. The Hyperion's forming scientific teams. Gotta start studying what we have. I may have helped them organize. It's what you do. Meridian won't know what hit it. And we should think about what's next. This is a new cradle for humanity. That's a big idea. Bigger than I'd imagined. So maybe building those teams was smart. Small steps to understand all this. Until we're at the top of the mountain. And seeing the next horizon. Can't deny it. I'm game for more. With so much power in our hands, you think it'll be okay? Cora, sometimes you just have to leap out there and see where it takes you. Yeah, I guess you do. Whatever happens, you gave everyone an incredible gift. Nice job, Pathfinder. Pathfinder, I'm told there will soon be a new voice representing Helios. Another of your leaders claiming to know what we need. It was an impossible choice, Ephra. There's no name that would represent everyone. Though the one chosen definitely represents someone. Don't they, Pathfinder? No one's pretending this is ideal, but it's a start. That's irrelevant. Things started long before any of you arrived. The only important question is, what will continue? Hire of GXC's Pathfinder. To better tomorrows. I don't know if I should have come. I left so much. <laughs> so this is how you all party, hmm? 
pretty tame, but don't tell the host I said that. Meridian is amazing, though. You accomplished the inconceivable. I'm grateful to be part of it. No, I'm grateful. I couldn't have asked for a better team. We created this together. And exactly what it is, what it may become, <laughs> I can't even imagine. To think that when we met, the Angara and your initiative struggled to find trust. The way we arrived on Aya was over the top. You know, uninvited and on fire. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> Guess it worked out okay. <sighs> Ryder, the Angara will never forget how you saved the Moshai. But more than that, we'll never forget how you fought the Ket beside us. How we destroyed the Archon. Meridian is a new beginning for your people and mine. Together. It's like a fairy tale. Do you have those where everyone walks off into the sunset holding hands? At a time like this, I... I, I think it's strange that you can't resist making a joke. I can't so. <clears throat> Jal, our people... Actually, no, I can't. Hmm. Actually, I kind of like it. I don't know if I... Sarah, kept a seat for you in your planet. That's not getting less weird. About time Iridium got a proper grand opening. We all need this. Heard Scott woke up. <laughs> How's he doing? He's exactly where he should be. I'm sure he'd disagree. So, you're telling me you're having trouble explaining limits to a rider? Hey, know who I just talked to? A second wave technician, fresh out of cryo. Just had his first sunrise in Andromeda. He couldn't stop crying. Just him? <laughs> uh, must be something going around. Maybe you're the carrier. It's really feeling like home, you know? Finally. They haven't given you five minutes alone since the fight. Have you had a chance to let it sink in? I slip out whenever there's a gap in the paperwork. Just to look at it. I feel you. Just... Ground under our feet, knowing it's ours. I can't wait for more people to wake up. Enjoy it, Pathfinder Rider. Tomorrow, we're back on the job. So, Tan says he's gonna let me stick around and help with the... Hey, Rider. What's the word on the street? Rider saves the day, Pathfinder of the century. You know, the usual. Still? Get used to it. They're gonna name things after you when you die, and probably even before. So we heading out again soon? Oh, she's all grown up, leaving home, doesn't need me anymore. <laughs> That'll be the day. We'll handle my deals on this end while I'm gone. Seeing you two in cahoots makes me all misty. You know this is your fault, right? Helping us along? Helis has really turned into the fresh start I wanted, in so many ways. And now with Meridian, we're really going to make this place ours. I can't wait. You know where to find me when you're ready. So glad you're up and around. I have important news for you. There always is. Yes, discoveries every day, but this is something we've been waiting for. Listen. What should I be hearing? Sorry, Sam. Active filtering. Initiative protocol Alpha Alpha to the screen. Protocol what? Processing. Repeating! This is the Ark Kiasia! The situation is not under control. Note and avoid until further update. Repeating! Is that... The Corian Ark? And Elcor? Drell Volus? Hanar, I think. That's some delicate business, putting Hanar in stasis. Point is, they're still out there. The Kila Sia wasn't destroyed. That's fantastic news. We need to report this right away. It's good news, but it bounced too many times to trace and... That's not a distress call. It's a warning to keep away from... wherever they are. Whatever's happening, they don't want to be found yet. We have to trust their Pathfinder. 
All we can do is wait. Ready when you are. Kid. Old man. Ha <laughs> ha This place is something else. It's just another starting line. Where we go from here is on us. Well, damn, you were listening to me after all. Through all the creaking of your old bones. <laughs> I sent out what's left of the Macmore scouts. Nearly drowned me in reports until I pointed them at Tan. Told them to be extra wordy just for him. You'll love that. He wanted the job, he can have the reports. It's not over, you know. There'll be more Ket and whatever else is waiting out there. I know, right? It's going to be so much fun. Ha, <laughs> crazy kid. I told you Heading ground side? Oh, good. You're here. Maybe the festivities can finally begin. I don't like sitting on my ass. Places to see, people to go. Yeah, you know what I mean. Well, let's get this show on the road. Meridian looks great, but, you know, been there, done that. Hey, this was a big accomplishment. It's important to enjoy it. Don't get me wrong. I'm proud of us. Helios is changing, and will be for a long time. I'm just antsy. Don't want to miss a thing. Oh, I almost forgot. The device we got out of the volcano? Gil thinks it might someday allow me to program real personality into Pockin's app. That's all I need. A robot cracking wise while I'm in a firefight. Oh, you're always so serious. Enjoy the moment. We're here to celebrate, remember? Look who's talking, Miss Basale. Just keeping you on your toes. For now, you're right. The galaxy isn't going anywhere. Let's have some fun. Still standing? Still standing. Then I did my job. Somehow. Nothing more need be said. I'll remember that the next time you chew me up for getting hurt. So will I, Ryder. So will I. I thought you were planning to stay in bed today. A ghetto can change her mind, can't she? Besides, I remembered I had things to do. Did I tell you? The team's working with the Angara to set up a joint research body. That sounds exciting. I know. I can't wait. Us helping them, them helping us. Can you imagine what we could accomplish? <sighs> I'm getting all misty just thinking about it. Aww, do you need a hug? <laughs> There's people around. A tad embarrassing, no? I'm fine. Just happy. With you, Meridian, everything. I know things won't be perfect, but right now, I almost believe they could. Ryder, enjoying the fruits of your labor? You deserve it. Thanks, Kello. The Tempest is getting some much needed service. I thought I'd leave them to it, but I wouldn't miss the big day. Meridian looks so different out of the cockpit. I think I understand better why you do what you do. Finding Meridian crystallized a lot of things about being a Pathfinder. I expect many around here are thinking about their own potential. I don't pretend to understand everything, but Meridian must have opened a lot of doors. Not all of them safe. I want you to know that it'll be my privilege to keep flying you to them. It means a lot that you want to stick with us, Callow. Of course. And keeping my ship is a plus. I've learned a lot from you, Ryder. And Gil. Though, please don't tell him that. Things will change now, but that's all right. Nothing's ever really lost. Up straight, everyone. This is the guest of honor. Well, like you have to tell anyone that. Hunter, this is our opening. Let there be some sense of ceremony. As I was about to say, hello, Pathfinder. I am Chief of Operations, Ayora Pile. Second Wave Placements Officer, Darlavas Hyperion. Hunter Carey, Reconstruction. This is the first I've heard of the term, second wave. It isn't literal. There have been several groups deployed for outposts. Second wave is about the staged evolution of the initiative. First wave out of cryo, structural support and generalists. Food and fences. Second wave is organizational. Less generalists, more specialists. 
More paperwork. It's needed to rapidly advance. I'm not spending a generation on the range. Darla Vos Hyperion, placements officer. As our developments in the cluster grow more sophisticated, proper matching of sleeper and assignment will be vital. My mission is to ensure compatibility and fulfillment. When are you changing your name to Vast Meridian? I keep Vast Hyperion to honor the ship that brought us here, as my godparents would want. The saying was dying. Please forgive Hunter. He is an ass. Iora Pillay, you're in charge of Meridian? That's a big statement. I will oversee the operations and establishment of our port. Exploration and study of the... interesting substructure will be handled by Initiative R&D. I'm told that may take lifetimes. We'll ensure that we have them. That's what I trained for. Hunter Carey, can I get some clarification on reconstruction? Sure thing. I'm tasked with turning this once proud vessel into the future proud human capital. It's more complicated than that. No, it's a structural and organizational nightmare. Which is job security, which is perfect. Come back in a year. This'll be a galactic hub. You won't know where the Hyperion ends and Meridian begins. Sounds like Meridian is in good hands. I can only read the reports of how you brought us this opportunity. But rest assured, we will not waste it. Yes. Thank you, Pathfinder. Hi. What they said. We got a lot wrong on this trip. They were right about The last thing they said before cryo was the past. It was quiet. So much to work for. Hi, Ryder. Making a quiet exit? It's no fun having the boss at the party. Have you asked? I wager that most would disagree. I tried to think of a way to honor what you did. Some protocol. There isn't one. Your father invented this rule. But you defined it. Meridian is humanity's home, and maybe one for all of Helios. We did that, but I'm the Pathfinder. I should be out there on the Tempest with all of you. Let's go home.